What is the number one cause of high cholesterol? If you guessed animal fat, you will be wrong. The answer, refined grains. Things like white bread, pasta, crackers, pastries, donuts, most breakfast cereals, pretzels. I teach two approaches to help address high cholesterol. A nutraceutical approach and a lifestyle approach. In this video, we'll focus on the nutraceutical approach. Now, statins are the most prescribed drugs in the United States. Millions of people take them. About one in five US adults has high cholesterol. That's a cholesterol value of greater than or equals to 240 and above. One in three adults has borderline cholesterol. That's a cholesterol value of 200 to 239. And two in five adults have a high LDL. Why does this matter? Because high cholesterol fuels heart disease, peripheral artery disease, stroke, and even chronic kidney disease. Refined grains digest fast leading to glucose spikes, which lead to insulin surges and causes the liver to ramp up what we call de nouveau lipogenesis, turning sugar into fat. That drives cholesterol production, worsening your cholesterol profile, even if you're not eating dairy or fat. I recommend two nutraceutical products to help combat the issue of high cholesterol. A polyphenol rich tea which supports mitochondrial health, reduces oxidative stress, and improves insulin sensitivity, helping the liver handle fat better. The other product is a prebiotic fiber that slows carbohydrate absorption, flattens post meal glucose spikes, and feeds gut bacteria to produce short chain fatty acids that help to improve liver and lipid metabolism. After three months of using these nutraceutical products myself, my total cholesterol dropped from 261 to 197, my LDL dropped by 69 points from 207 to 138, as you can see in this picture. For the lifestyle approach on how to address high cholesterol, please see part 2 of this video.